Hi everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to The Dig for more point-and-click adventure game action. We are back where we left off. We're in this, what appears to be some sort of weird tunnel system, which we've discovered just under the surface of the asteroid, uh, Attila, the asteroid. And we're gonna try and figure out what the hell is going on. Um, we've got this metallic plate here that we can perhaps interact with. We took a quick look at it at the end of the last episode. Uh, and there's an odd projection over here as well, so we're gonna have to check this out. But yeah, it seems like something strange is going on. Um, I'm not really sure what. We're gonna have to, to head on and, and do some research, I guess, which is the point of this part of the game. And I guess maybe the game, I don't know. Um, as I said, it's a completely blind playthrough, so I'm not really sure what to expect, but can we clean this one off? Yeah, we're doing it. Here we go. Oh, this one's a big plate, isn't it? Ooh. What's the deal with this one? This is a lot bigger. I'm giving this baby a little push. If that doesn't work, Commander, give it a big push. Haha, <laughs> funny guy. Oh, What is that? The plate just dropped down inside something. The plate is gone? <gasps> Weird dark tunnel. Oh, so is that another tunnel? I just want to check the flying pig. Okay, we can't do anything. Uh, did this push in, or did we not try that? I'm going to push another one. That goes in as well. I wish we could be sure we weren't destroying whatever message they meant us to receive. Yeah, so it seems. I mean, potentially, yeah, but small shaft. It's a small dark opening. Can we maybe do something with the shovel here? I can't use these two things together. No. Okay. Can we shine the torch in there though? It's a small dark opening. Apparently not. Can we shine the torch in here? It looks like we might have to go in here. It goes off into blackness. Should we head in? I mean, it doesn't look like we can really go anywhere else. Oh, hang on, there's another one here. Here's number three. So there's three of them. It disappeared too. Where are they going? Are they like buttons or something? It's a small dark opening. I don't suppose we can use the flashlight in this one. It's a small dark opening. No, he won't use the... I mean, the flashlight's a bit weird. So... I mean, realistically... Is it a case of going in? Perhaps we call our buddies and see what they think first. Uh, so let's try ringing Borden. And we'll like consult with the guys back on the shuttle first. There's something very weird here. Anything from Houston? No, the tracking stations report that everything's fine so far. Okay. Uh I got to tell you, it's hard to stay calm when you're floating around inside an alien structure. Well, stay calm, boss, and be careful. Don't mess with things you don't understand. Solid advi yeah, advice. My whole here is to mess with things I don't understand. But to be fair, we've already well, yeah, I mean, we've already pushed some random things into some holes, so... <laughs> right. Uh, Miles? Load a payload, over. This is Miles. Uh, question? Cora, did you ever pass notes in class? All the time, Boston. I feel like somebody's passed me a note, only I don't know how to read it. Hmm, okay. Cora, I gotta tell you. After this trip, sitting around in Congress is going to be real boring. Sitting around up here in the shuttle ain't exactly a thrill right now either, Boston. Yeah, I can imagine it's a bit gutting to miss out. How long will the pig hold out as a light source? Plenty of time. I think we asked that last time, if didn't we? If it starts to run low, we can pull my baby up to the surface and let the solar batteries recharge. Alright, so it doesn't seem oh, like... Well. They have much to say. Uh, what about Maggie? Robins. Come in, Robins. 
Robin's here. I read you. What's that old saying? What happened to the curious cat? Hmm. I always thought that saying was nothing but a coward's excuse. Curiosity killed the cat. You're saying you approve of curiosity. I've spent my whole life putting my nose where it didn't belong. Have you ever had any experience climbing around in caves? Not in zero gravity. But it doesn't mean I wouldn't enjoy it if I tried it. Hmm, fair enough. Uh, okay. Oh, well. We've spoken about uh, the other guy, Brink. So let's just talk to Brink quickly and see what he thinks. Brink, this is Low. Do you read? I read you, Low. What is it? She's got a question. What do you think? Well, this is a large shaft. We could fit. That's what I was thinking. Uh, profound. Wonder how a mouse feels studying the cheese in the trap. <laughs> Good point. I don't think they sent an asteroid all this way just to trap a handful of mice. Probably not. Uh, all right then. Low out. It looks like we don't really have a choice. Let's head into the dark tunnel. Well, here goes nothing. We're with you, Commander. Oh, here they come. Okay, they're coming in as well. Ooh, cutscene. Very nice. What the hell is that? What is that? Some sort of weird, like, design? Oh! Whoa, what the hell? It's like a massive space in here. Mm. Should we go back outside and call them? Nah, they can sit tight for a few more minutes while we poke around. What's that noise? It's like a thudding sound. So there's a tunnel, there's a vent. Uh we go up here. A pedestal. What's the vent about? Sounds like rocks breaking up or something. Small vent leading back to the outer chamber. Okay. And what's this about the pedestal? So it's like a hollow asteroid then. How strange. Wonder why it's hollow. Oh. Oh, are these the metal plates that we pushed inside? Oh, do we have to arrange them so that it fills that? Is that is that what we've got to do? Shallow indentation set into the raised platform. Huh. Shallow indentation set into the raised platform. Okay. Um. Right. How do we? Right. So can we pick these up? Oh uh, yeah, we can. Look. So, what do we have to do? Do we have to rebuild it all, or...? I mean, that, that seems like the obvious thing to me. So it wants us to rebuild this shape. Being... Well, I mean, it's like a diamond here, and then the outer one's like a pentagon. Um, very weird, I've got to say, very weird. These plates probably fit together, but how? Well, that's what I'm trying to... These plates probably fit together, but how? Right, so do we have to combine them like here? These plates probably fit together, but how? Hmm. Strange. I would have thought that we'd These just... These plates probably fit together, but how? So do they need something to, like, glue them together? Shallow indentation set into the raised platform. So we can't just, like, drag and drop them? Is that not a thing? These plates probably fit together, but how? Yeah, it looks like perhaps we need Shallow something else. Set into the raised platform. Okay, that's interesting. Um, wait, what's, what was that? Top, was that this bit? Yeah. Uh, exit, bottom exit, exit. Square indentations. Is there anything else around here? Wait, what was that? Core? Oh, so this is the core. Okay. 
Uh, bizarre. Okay. So, let me just try doing it from the outside then, as in trying to place these bits from here. These plates probably no, okay. Them, but how? It doesn't seem like it's going to let us just put these into place. Oh wait, no it does. I was putting them in the wrong place, okay. Right, so... These plates probably fit together, but how? So it looks like you've got to select the right... Right, okay. So, I mean, that wasn't very clear. It was just that I was putting it in the wrong These place. These plates probably fit together, but how? Right, so we're missing one. Shallow indentation set into the raised platform. We don't have another one, do we? I don't suppose we can use something else we've got. It won't accomplish anything. No. This metal plate has got to have some purpose. So we've got those in. There must be another one around somewhere then. Uh, the question is where? There must be another one back outside, like out here, on the other side of the tunnel. I'm guessing. So it's obvious what we've got to do. We've got to create that shape, the little diamond in the middle. But yeah. We seem to be missing one of these indentations or something. Oh, there it is. That must be it there. I obviously didn't pixel hunt enough for it. Frank, I wish I knew what these odd projections are. I've taken pictures of them for analysis. Very good. Um, right, let's use the zero G digger then. And that will hopefully be the fourth one that we needed. We're three for three here, folks. Uh, don't you mean? I've heard a footing message in a bottle, but never in a big rock. <laughs> yeah, true. Um, so it's not three for three, though, is it? It's four for four now. Right, so hopefully that's done the trick then, and push that in. It's a deep hole into the rock. All right, let's go back through the tunnel then. Has it also gone over here to the pedestal? I wonder how they go from like here though, all the way over to here. Is this like magnetic or something? Ah, yeah, there we go. So it was it was just that we missed one. Never mind, we've got it now. Let's place it in the last remaining section. Ooh. It's changed shape. And there's some sort of pulsing at the centre of it. Whoa. What's happening? Whoa, what the hell? It's a transport system. It's not an asteroid at all. Wow. I feel like someone turned me inside out twice. It's a little difficult to move now. That's because we've got gravity. Planet type gravity. We're not inside the asteroid anymore. And the pressure is equalized. There's an atmosphere. Can we breathe it? Our suits are checking that automatically. There we are. Yes, it's at least as breathable as the air in LA. <laughs> of course, there's always the danger of airborne infectious agents. Oh yeah, that's a good point. I don't think so. Alien microbes should be no threat to us. Why? They have not evolved to make you 
awareness of our cell structures. Mm, okay. I say we take them off and save the remaining oxygen for the return trip. If there is a return trip. <laughs> well, yeah. Ah, uh, I can't breathe. Ah, he's all right. It's fine. Yeah, tastes good. Hmm. Surprise, surprise! Attila was a spaceship all along. Yeah, a disguised starship, one. Faster than light. We're not in our own solar system. No planet but Earth has an atmosphere like this, and this ain't Earth. After so many years of bad TV shows and crackpots with phony pictures, here is the real proof. There is alien life. Load a cockpit. Over. Load a payload. Yeah, that's over. not gonna work. Yeah, I'd say we're out of range. Way out of range. I don't see any aliens coming to greet us. That's true. For all we know, it might have been a million years since these people sent out Attila, and they long since died out. I don't know about you, but I didn't pack a lunch. <laughs> or a can of pop. Well, we might as well look around and learn what we can about this place. We might be here a while. Yeah, it seems like we might. Uh, okay, so we're back in control. Wow, I was not expecting it to be a spaceship. Um, I thought there was something strange about it, obviously, given the fact it was hollow and had that little pedestal thing in it, but I was not expecting it to transport us off to another world somewhere. Um, first impressions, it looks pretty barren, doesn't it? Um, there's some strange noises, so obviously life is present here. Sounds like some sort of, I don't know, birds or monsters or something. Man... I'm hooked now. This is something else. I knew something was going to happen. I thought something bad was going to happen. This could still be something bad. I don't know. But yeah, this isn't what I was expecting at all. So, uh, there's a plant. Let's look at the plant. With my luck, this is probably the alien equivalent of poison ivy. <laughs> I don't think I'll touch it. Probably a good idea. Right, spacesuits are here. Hmm. Jetpacks. Hmm. Right, there's a clearing over that way then. Uh, what's this platform? This must be where Attila landed. I guess this isn't a natural geological formation, right, Brink? Look how close the stones fit. Like ancient Peruvian masonry. So it's primitive. There was nothing primitive about ancient Peruvian masonry, Commander Lowe. Ah. So this, this was built then. Uh, that's what it's trying to get at. Uh, the platform... Nothing over there. There's another clearing over here. Let's talk to our squad then and see what they Brink. think. How are you doing, Brink? You mean apart from being trapped on an alien planet with no idea of how to get back? Alright. Jeez, calm down. This is a pretty desolate place. Whoever once lived here, I think they are long since gone. Seems that way. So much dust. Undisturbed except by our own feet. Good point. Very good point. Uh, oh, we can say something else. Can you make any sense of what you see here? A good archaeologist doesn't expect to make sense of things until he's been digging at a site for years. We don't have years. Maybe years are all we have. Could be true. I hope you can figure some way out of this place. I don't think we'll be able to climb these walls. In my years of studying rocks and ancient sites, I learned that sometimes the best way down is up, and sometimes the best way up is down. Yeah, well, I hope that made sense to you, because it sure didn't make any sense to me. <laughs> All right. Brink, how does Maggie seem to be holding up? She seems to be fine, Commander. Good. I'm okay. We all have to watch out for each other. Yeah, we've got to be a proper team now, haven't we? Uh, Robbins, how are you doing? Robbins. You doing okay? Oh, I'm fine. This is the greatest story of my life. <laughs> I can imagine. The only trouble is, I have no way of telling it to anybody. Well, not at the moment. Uh, profound? This place is as desolate as the Midwest. Almost as desolate as the Midwest. 
What's with the Midwest hate? <laughs> Toto, I don't think we're in Kansas anymore. Hey, hmm. Wizard of Oz. If only I had Ruby slippers. Yeah, uh, Brink. Maggie, does Brink look okay to you? So far, he looks fine. I'm okay, Commander. Thanks for your concern. So I wonder if this. We all have to watch out for each other. I wonder if there's some sort of mechanic then that we have to keep Thanks. track of how our crew are doing to make sure that they're not sort of getting really stressed or anything dehydrated, hungry, things like that. Perhaps. Where are you going, Lo? Gonna have a look around. I was gonna check for water or some way out of here. We can't just stand here. We should remain together. All right, come on then. Fine, follow me. This is no longer a space expedition, Lo. This is an archaeological dig. Ah, the Therefore, dig. I am the obvious leader. Uh, let's not Fine. turn it into some Whenever sort we of. Need to dig something up. You can use the shovel. <laughs> In the meantime, our first business is to survive. Our second task is to get home. We need to work together, and I'm still the commander of this mission. You don't know any more about surviving on an alien world than I do. Vossen is right, Ludger. He's the one with experience in survival, and we need someone in command. This is no time for a foolish power struggle. All right, I agree. For now. Really? I mean, we're going to do that, are we? We're going to... You know, start disputing who's in charge when we've been here five minutes. Like, literally five minutes. Uh, so, we have got a couple of question marks that we can check out. And that looks about it. Doesn't look like we can go off in any of these directions. No, so what do we go? Clockwise? Anti-clockwise? Let's go clockwise, shall we? We'll head over here. And then we'll go clockwise and come back to our original position. Whoa. Check out this bad boy. Fantastic. Look. Ooh, a ship More of some sort. Do you think there's anyone or anything alive? It seems someone had to have been here. Let's hope they're peaceful. Yeah, yeah. Um, I'm not sure which one I'd prefer, peaceful or gone. Um, potentially peaceful, because they could help in some way. Yeah, look, it's got an engine, so it must be a ship. Um, I think that's where we'll leave it for this episode then, because we are approaching time. Man, I was not expecting this little turn, but I absolutely love it. I can't wait to start exploring this place and seeing what's going on also there's going to be some sort of digging related stuff because it's called the dig and already brink saying about it being a dig site so can't wait to get into this properly it's really really hooked me now so as always guys thank you very much for watching make sure you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell if you or just haven't already done so and i'll see you all next time